Welcome back. In this video, we'll be showing you just how easy it is to configure a Windows system to be managed by Ansible Tower, primarily because it's able to leverage your existing credentials and the WinRM transport. And so we'll be walking through the few steps that we do have to do on a Windows system to make it ready for Ansible Tower. So in recent versions of Ansible Tower, it's gotten easier than ever to introduce Windows systems. And these days, all we really need to do is take a PowerShell script that's uh, very uh, fortunately maintained by the Ansible team, go ahead and put that down onto our file system, and then run a basic PowerShell command. This assumes that we've already done some work uh, as far as setting up our firewalls and things like that to be able to communicate over WinRM. But in the event that we have, all we really should have to do here is go ahead and run this command. So just a couple of parameters that we're passing. Most important thing here is the PowerShell script itself, which we've already downloaded. So this normally just takes a moment. If everything's happy, we'll be looking at a self-signed certificate here momentarily, and we'll be able to then uh, transition over to the tower interface and show that. And so indeed, we do have a self-signed SSL certificate generated. And so from here, what we should be able to do is take a look at tower itself. So we've already pre-staged the system just for the um, timing in the video, and we've already configured it to be able to run against as a member of the, the win group is what we're calling it. And so from here, we're going to go ahead and select this system and we're going to run a basic command on this. So we'll go ahead and give it some credentials so that we're able to connect to it. And we'll choose the win ping module. And from here, with any luck, this should just go ahead and give us a successful result. And we can transition over. And indeed we do have a success.